He was so cute. Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. And you know what? We could have at least gotten one. He's seen 13. We could have had one, but we, we decided to sleep. <laughs> I remember 2017, the eclipse. Okay, so I was, you've seen one. Yes. I think it was like during the school day and it was, I was at Hanford High School. And, and they let you go outside probably they, to see it. Yeah, we looked outside or maybe it was during like a practice or something. But I remember kind of like outside the commons looking up with yeah. the glasses and that was a big moment. So <laughs> it definitely was because I think eclipses, they're pretty rare, of course, mm -hmm. but it's a great thing to see. And the pictures came out so beautiful. Yes. My favorite thing that I saw <laughs> after the eclipse was there was um, data showing that the the search for Google <laughs> that my eye, why do my eyes hurt, spiked after yes, the eclipse. entirely. And like I wonder we've been, why. We've been talking about wearing your glasses, your eclipse glasses, yes. and not looking at the sun directly the entire time. So some people missed it. This is why you yes. should watch local news because we've Definitely. talked about it so much. <laughs> <laughs> but everyone here already knows. Exactly. That. Yep. And uh, it's looking nice outside today. It was nice it outside yesterday be. too. It was pretty nice out. I did look outside yesterday and I saw that wind. It's going to be a breezy day again across our region. Winds are picking up, but it looks again like a nice day. I'll have more coming up. And coming up in our next hour of Good Morning Northwest, a man crashes his car into a canal and was unable to get out. Why police arrested him after rescuing him. Plus a deadly boating accident on the Columbia River takes the life of one man. Tips on how you can stay safe as our weather gets warmer. Good Morning Northwest starts right now. This is Apple Valley News Now. Good morning, Northwest. On your side. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us for Good Morning Northwest. I'm Jessica DeLal. And I'm Riley Fitzgerald. It is 6 o'clock on Tuesday, April 6th, 2024. We're already in April. It's going by so quick It is. This year. It's already the 9th. <laughs> and we've been getting more spring-like temperatures. I'm hoping mm -hmm. they actually stay this time. Definitely, yeah. Over the next couple of days, we're going to be seeing some beautiful conditions. It'll kind of raise as we get to like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, but then our temperatures will be dropping just a okay, little bit. Okay. Once again, let's take a <laughs> live look outside right now in Pasco through our Dust Devil Sky Cam. It is quite nice outside, 50 degrees for this early in the morning. Yesterday, we were, I think, in the upper 30s or lower 40s this time yesterday, so quite the bit of a raise, 24 hours different. We have wind gusts that are affecting us today into tonight, but seasonable temperatures that might feel a little bit chilly because of that wind and morning showers in the foothills of the blues. We saw these kind of lingering around the foothills a little bit earlier and in, in the Walla Walla area. They're kind of on their way out of the region this morning already. Temperatures, as I said, a little warmer than we saw this time yesterday. 50 in the Tri-Cities, 48 in Walla Walla, 36 in Yakima. So just a little bit warmer than yesterday. Winds are starting to pick up across the region 10 miles per hour for Tri-Cities, Hanford, Ellensburg, and Cleallum. Cleallum and Ellensburg is where it's going to be affecting us the most, up to 45 mile per hour wind gusts today. Lower 60s for the Yakima area. Tri-Cities is going to be seeing mid to upper 60s and Walla Walla lower 60s today. We have more to talk about, but I'll send it back to Jessica. Thank you, Riley. And new this morning, police rescue a DUI driver from a canal yesterday around 6 p.m. According to the Richland Police Department, officers responded to a vehicle crash near Steptoe and Tap Teal, where a pickup truck had gone into the irrigation canal. Officers found the truck was partially underwater and the driver was unable to get out. Richland Fire and Emergency Services were able to get the driver out, and according to RPD, Witnesses say the driver was driving aggressively before the crash and that the driver had thrown a bottle of liquor into the water immediately after crashing. Police say he showed signs of being impaired and he was arrested for driving under the influence. Former Wapato Mayor John Orozco has filed a second lawsuit against the Yakima County Sheriff's Office after his first one failed in federal court. Orozco was arrested in 2019 over claims he stole money from the city. A judge dismissed the case, arguing the evidence from the state auditor's office was not enough for probable cause. Orozco filed a federal lawsuit in 2022, claiming his arrest violated the Civil Rights Act. The judge dismissed the federal claims last month, but on Friday, Orozco refiled his lawsuit in Yakima County Superior Court. In a deadly boating accident on the Columbia River takes the life of one man in Finley. This happened on Saturday, but with warmer weather on the way, there are things you can do now to stay safe on the water. So this morning, we are on your side with these helpful reminders.
Well, first you want to take your boating education class that teaches you things like wearing a life jacket and what to do in heavy weather, like, like what we have the high winds. When you have weather like this, it changes really quick. So you want to put that life jacket on. If you can, wear one all the time when you're out in a boat. You put your leg through here. This goes over your neck and it adds flotation. Meet Mark Allen with Allen Water Rescue Services, LLC. His mission in life is to inform kids and adults alike about boating safety. Tell me a little bit about that area where this incident happened. Well, it's right down the river, but because of the way it turns in the wind, it, it, it's pretty, really windy and you get more white caps down there. On Saturday, Benton County Sheriff's deputies responded to the Finley area of the Columbia River, just east of Two Rivers Park, after a report of a boat taking on water with two individuals. Michael Miller reported to dispatch his vessel was sinking, and his cousin, 52-year-old William Billy Orndorff, went overboard. Miller reportedly was able to don a life jacket and reported that he was unable to see Orndorff, who did not have a life jacket on. The reported location was right near River Marker 321. Pasco Fire and Rescue was first on scene and performed CPR on the 52-year-old, and they took him to a local hospital, but he did not survive. Rescue crews say strong winds and waves contributed to this vessel taking on water and capsizing. The water's 47 degrees, so I don't know why you'd be swimming. I, I wear a dry suit in this water if I'm going to be out here doing anything. Allen says life jackets are key, but something else to consider, know the kind of conditions you are facing because the stretch in Finley where these two men were has lots of surprises. Well, evidently it could have been from someone from Idaho that didn't right. know this area. And yeah. uh, I'm not sure about the relative, right. you know, that knows that this, you know, you always wear a life jacket. Official autopsy is pending for the man and we'll update you once that information is released. Download our Apple Valley News Now app and turn on notifications for the latest updates. And staying with the theme of boating safety, an intense training program for rescue crews from all over the state of Washington started yesterday in Kennewick. For the next three weeks, Washington State Parks and Recreation, along with law enforcement instructors, are teaching water and boating safety to other agencies. This is taking part at Clover Island Inn and coming up tomorrow on Apple Valley News Now at 5 and 6, we'll go on a ride along with crews to see what's new this year. So watch tomorrow as we are on your side with more helpful tips. Continuing coverage now. Two people are dead after a crash in western Washington that involved a state patrol trooper. The trooper is not seriously injured. The Mason County Sheriff's Office says the trooper was on their way to an emergency call driving with lights and sirens on Highway 101, which is a four-lane road in that section. The Sheriff's Office says the crash was at an intersection. That crash killed a 72-year-old man and a 49-year-old woman in the other car, and this is still under investigation. Construction work started today for changes to Sylvester Street in Pasco, or they started yesterday, actually. The city is hoping that the nearly $5 million project will improve safety for people walking and biking, as well as for drivers. Right now, drivers on Sylvester Street in Pasco have two lanes, but no space to turn and no dedicated bike lane in either direction. The city is working to change that. There's no room to widen Sylvester Street, so they are planning to give drivers one lane in each direction put a turning lane down the middle, and create bike lanes. With just one lane of traffic in either direction, you will also need to prepare for lower speed limits and be on the lookout for enhanced crosswalks. The city of Pasco secured grants to cover most of the cost of the project. They're hoping to have work wrapped up around September of this year. And straight ahead on Good Morning Northwest, a fraud investigation finds that people were illegally changing the mileage on the odometers of cars that they were trying to sell. Details coming up. And Riley joins us now with a quick look at your morning forecast. Good morning, Riley. Good morning, Jessica. Winds are picking up today. Strong gusts will breeze through the region into this evening. Temperatures are looking pretty good, though. I'll have more details coming up. Something is weird. Look around. All possible Triple Play customers are perfectly represented right now. Wait, really? There's the family. The group of adult friends, kids on their school trip. And the first date couple, and the grandparents with their grandkids. It's just too perfect. I knew it. They're shooting a commercial. I thought we were better than that. Triple Play has fun attractions for everyone, including go-karts, mini golf, and many more, all attached to a cozy hotel. 
We just thought... If it's hidden, you might get bitten. Navigating a real estate transaction can be overwhelming, from finding the right property to navigating the closing process. That's why a successful real estate transaction requires a team of professionals. At Windermere, our team consists of experienced realtors to guide you through the process, an in-house marketing team to maximize your home's exposure, transaction coordinators to ensure accuracy throughout the transaction, and a network of local industry experts. With Windermere on your side, you can have peace of mind and confidence in your real estate journey. It's the sale that took the country by storm. Denver Mattress presents the smash hit Spring into Savings with fan favorites like Sealy Comfort for me and better sleep too. And don't forget a free gift for you. Save up to 150. Just be at the toys. Get four years now. I'm shipped free. Meta 365 guarantee. But don't wait. Spring into savings at Denver Mattress ends soon. Is your closet cramped and cluttered? Well, now there's Space Triangles, the clever new hanging device that fits over any hanger to save you closet space in seconds. And now may be your last chance to get them for a low price. Now you can vertically hang multiple items, guaranteeing that you'll have up to 70% more space in your closet. Your closet can go from messy to marvelous in no time with ease. The ingenious slipover design secures the hangers vertically. It snugly fits all types of hangers to save you space. Order now to get an 18-piece set of space triangles for just $9.99. But wait, due to rising costs and supply chain shortages, this may be your last chance to get space triangles at this low price. There is a strict limit of one closet pack per order while supplies last. Once they're gone, they're gone forever. Order now. Call 1-800-587-3514. Call or visit spacetriangles.com. So call 1-800-587-3514 now. This newscast sponsored by Washington State Department of Revenue's Working Families Tax Credit. Welcome back to Good Morning Northwest. We go now to a fraud investigation that began last fall and now involves law enforcement in two counties. Investigators say people were illegally changing the miles recorded on the odometers of cars they plan to sell. Monique Ledesma talked to investigators about just how big this case has become. Adams County Sheriff's Office has been investigating this case since September of 2023. Detective Sergeant Kale Yount with the Adams County Sheriff's Office says they discovered Ronaldo and Teresa Garza were buying cars, then reselling them on the Facebook marketplace in Othello with lower mileage. Investigators say one of the original sellers spotted something wrong. Actually, when they had sold the vehicle to him, they then saw it posted on Facebook days later, and it was the same vehicle that they had just sold to him, and it was being advertised with less miles than what they had sold it to him for. Last week, Detective Yon says the investigation crossed county lines when the developing evidence led them to Pasco. The investigation in Adams County led to Franklin County based on uh, paperwork that was located at Rinaldo Garza's residence and other evidence that was seen within Franklin County as well related to selling and purchasing vehicles. Commander Marcus Connor with the Franklin County Sheriff's Office says that the evidence was clear that the cars in Franklin County were also being sold with fraudulent mileage for more money. We executed a search warrant uh, on Terry Sisney's residence uh, with, with the Adams County Sheriff's Office and we were able to find quite a bit of evidence to show that they are doing the exact same thing uh, down here in Franklin County that they were doing up in the Othello area. For Reynaldo, he would sell vehicles within Adams County. Sometimes he would transport vehicles to another location within the Tri Cities area and sell them there as well. Detective Yon says although they both sold to anyone who would buy a vehicle from them, their clientele was of a consistent group of people. It was the general public, uh, but there were, it was a specific um, specific people that would come to him, uh, being the Hispanic population, who were probably targeted the most. Detective Yant says this is an example of why it's important to check vehicles' histories before purchasing them. Check. Do, uh, do your research. Do your homework. Uh, it's something that is available to the public is to run it through those um, entities, whether you go through Kelly Blue Book to see the true value of a vehicle based on mileage, but then also check it through Carfax to see if the mileage matches up with what's being advertised. 
Officials say approximately 20 vehicles were seized from Cisnes property and an additional property near Mr. Quick's in Elitopia and charges are pending against Cisne. Now, if you take a look at your screen, if you think you are at risk to have purchased a vehicle from Ronaldo or Teresa Garza and Terry Cisne, call the number on your screen and the Adams County Sheriff's Office will pay to have your mileage checked to see if you were a victim. Reporting in Pasco, Monique Ledesma, Apple Valley News Now. Thank you, Monique. And as of now, the Adams County Sheriff's Office says the investigation is ongoing and there has been additional leads that have led into the Tri-Cities area. Again, if you think you were a victim, we have contact information up on our website. And coming up next on Good Morning Northwest, three reports released by the Toppenish School District details the many concerns former Superintendent John Cerna's behavior, including why he got over $200,000 in payments that were never approved by the school board. Details coming up. And temperature outside is 50 degrees. Riley Fitzgerald will have your first alert for forecast. She'll let you know what to expect today. My family has been serving the Tri-Cities for 85 years at Griggs and the Tri-Cities Ace stores. And we have some deals we don't want you to miss. Choose from these long-handled garden tools at only $19.99. miracle Grow Garden Soil save 42%. Two bags for $10. This premium garden hose is a steal at $29.99. Triple 16 fertilizer, the lowest price around, only $24.88. See all of the deals by using this QR code. So come see us at Griggs and your Tri-Cities Ace stores. And thank, thank you, you for, for your business. business. Hey Tri-Cities, it's Eric the Peanut Guy with your Tri-City Dust Devils. Baseball is back, so get ready for affordable family fun at Giza Stadium. The fun begins this Tuesday, April 9th with opening night. The new season kicks off with a magnet schedule giveaway thanks to Tri-Cities Community Health and of course, a post-game fireworks show thanks to CO Energy. Say goodbye to winter and celebrate the return of fun under the sun. Visit the official ticket site at dustdevilsbaseball.com. Dust Devils Baseball. It will blow you away. When you or your loved one has been seriously injured, you want the best law firm on your side. Abeta Nelson Injury Law is the most highly awarded and experienced personal injury firm in Central Washington. Our office has secured the most million dollar car crash recoveries in Central Washington. You can trust us to have your back. The time for bringing your claim is limited, so don't wait. Call us today for a no obligation consultation. Abeta Nelson. We take your injury personally. Since 1968, Sundown M Ranch has helped over 200,000 patients and families recover from the effects of substance use disorders. I was ashamed, humiliated, and not sure if I could be helped, but I listened and found a completely different way to live by spending time at Sundown. I did not believe there was a way out of the dark hole my life had become. Sundown M Ranch provided a foundation for me to find a new way to live. Sundown M Ranch. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. Meet David Silva of Athena, Oregon. You're doing something the others aren't doing. He's an Apple Valley News Now viewer. The folks, the faces that you have, they're friendly, they're easy to listen to. And a Stacy Lee fan. Stacy Lee covers the whole basin. It's nice to turn on the TV. Good Friday evening to you. And know that we're going to hear the weather of Walla Walla and Pendleton. From the blues to the Cascades. First alert weather with Stacy Lee. She's there for all of us. On your side. Springtime in the awesome Palouse. Fly the Northwest tonight at 6. From Apple Valley News Now, first alert weather with Riley Fitzgerald. Happy Tuesday, everyone. Hope you're having an amazing day today. A live look outside right now in Pasco through the Dust Devil Sky Cam. 50 degrees in the Tri Cities this morning. Pretty nice, uh, warmer than we saw this time yesterday. Wind gusts today and tonight will be affecting us. Seasonable temps, but again, because of those w uh, the winds, it will be a little bit chillier, feel like it. Morning showers in the foothills of the blues. Let's talk about this wind advisory that we have in the Kittitas County area. 20 to 30 mile per hour winds, gusts up to 45 
miles per hour. That's from 10 o'clock to 8 o'clock. So during that time, you might have to grip the steering wheel a little bit tighter because it will be pretty windy to start uh, to throughout your Tuesday because of that wind advisory. Winds are going to be picking up across the entire region today. It will be affecting just about all of us through this evening, but then settling down by tomorrow. So lots of wind out there. On our first alert radar, we were seeing some shower activity in the foothills of the blues. It's starting to dwindle so far this morning, so not much to worry about as we move forward through the rest of our day. On our future cast, we can see some scattered showers, but then they leave and pretty nice and dry and clear over the next couple of days later today and into tomorrow. The clouds start to pick up a little bit as we approach Thursday, but other than that, looking pretty nice over the next couple of days. Temperatures right now, we're seeing mid-30s in the Yakima Valley so far this morning, upper 40s in the Walla Walla Valley, and upper 40s, lower 50s in the mid-Columbia. So a little warmer than we saw this time yesterday. Still pretty cool, though. For our highs today, we're seeing mid-60s in the Yakima Valley, mid to upper 60s in the mid-Columbia, and in the foothills of the Blues, mid to lower 60s today. Temperatures for this evening, we're seeing wind continue, and we're seeing around the mid-30s, just basically across the whole board. Tomorrow, we're going to be seeing about mid to upper 60s. On our seven-day forecast, over the next couple of days, clouds start to pick up a little bit, but we're seeing dry and clear over the next couple of days. And then temperatures pick up to the 70s for that Friday and Saturday in Yakima. Overnight lows pick up as well from the 40s to the mid 40s. And then we're going to be cooling back down as we approach the start of next week. On our seven-day forecast for the Tri-Cities, pretty similar, but 70s hit on Thursday through Sunday. Temperatures start to go back down a little bit as we approach Monday. And then our overnight lows are picking up from the 40s to the 50s for our weekend. So nice temperatures are ahead in the Walla Walla area. Temperatures pick up to the 70s by Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. A chance of a thunderstorm on our Friday, but we're going to be keeping an eye on that. So over the next couple of days, temperatures start to pick up. But today we have that strong wind affecting all of us across the entire region. Have a fantastic Tuesday. I'll send it back to Jessica. Thank you, Riley. And the Toppenish School District has released three reports by outside investigators detailing financial, ethical, and legal concerns about the behavior of former Superintendent John Cerna, who was fired by the district, including that Cerna received over $200,000 in payments that were never approved by the school board. Apple Valley News Now's Emily Goodell tells us the report sheds light on a greater cost to the district. The report says Cerna's actions as superintendent cost the district nearly a million dollars in lawsuit settlements and grievances, plus $780,000 deducted in state funds after a contract he negotiated went south. According to one report, Cerna personally received over $163,000 in unapproved optional day pay nearly $12,000 in overpaid car allowances, and $4,600 in overpaid cell phone stipends, over $23,000 in unapproved safety stipends, and another $12,000 in unapproved payments to compensate for health insurance increases, plus thousands of dollars more in pay raises he received without board oversight, and reportedly unnecessary in-state and out-of-state trips for contract negotiations and vendor meetings with individuals he had personal relationships with. But a second report says he cost the district even more money through his actions as superintendent. Investigators say Cerna hired Skyler Academy to provide online learning for the district without doing any research and solely based on his relationship with its president. A company operating without any approval from OSPI and despite being administratively dissolved by the state. Cerna reportedly ignored concerns from staff about missing invoices and complaints about lack of curriculum and unqualified instructors, a problem that led the district to later sue Schuyler Academy for breach of contract and the state to withhold $780,000 in funding for the district. A third report says the cost was even higher. Several former employees fired by Cerna claimed wrongful termination in lawsuits or grievances that ended with the cases settled and employees reinstated. In another case, the district sued over inappropriate conduct with a student by Cerna's son and daughter-in-law and over Cerna's handling of the case. 
Those cases racking up a combined bill of more than $939,000, not including the district's extensive legal fees. If you add it all up, at least $200,000 in unapproved payments, $780,000 in deducted state funds, and $939,000 in settlement costs. That makes the price tag more than $1.9 million. We have more information about those reports and a breakdown of those costs on our website, applevalleynewsnow.com. Reporting from the Yakima Newsroom, Emily Goodell, Apple Valley News Now. Thank you, Emily. And when we return on Good Morning Northwest, we take a look at the benefits of cutting down salt in your diet. We also go over how much salt you should be getting. That's next in your health news. It's the spring into savings sale at Furniture Row, and that means huge discounts throughout the store. Save on sofas and sectionals, dining groups, bedrooms, and more. Plus, four years no interest. Shop the largest selection at the lowest prices guaranteed. The spring into savings sale, on now at Furniture Row. Navigating a real estate transaction can be overwhelming, from finding the right property to navigating the closing process. That's why a successful real estate transaction requires a team of professionals. At Windermere, our team consists of experienced realtors to guide you through the process, an in-house marketing team to maximize your home's exposure, transaction coordinators to ensure accuracy throughout the transaction, and a network of local industry experts. With Windermere on your side, you can have peace of mind and confidence in your real estate journey. Prosser Memorial Health Board Certified Pediatricians Dr. Dennis Moore and Dr. Gary Podiski care for newborns through age 18 and are now accepting new patients at our Grandview and Prosser Clinic locations. Their services include wellness exams, school and sports physicals, and treatment for common childhood illnesses. To schedule an appointment for your child, call a Prosser Memorial Health Clinic near you or learn more at ProsserHealth.org. This is how we care. Are you looking for a bank that has traditional values and modern solutions? Are you looking for a bank that is member owned? Are you looking for a bank that leaves a lasting impact on the community? I've got news for you. You're not looking for a bank. Belong to something better. Join Hapo Community Credit Union where you are more than just a member. Visit hapo.org to join today. Where do you credit union? Oh my gosh. Wow. Who am I? Wow, is that really me? <laughs> Hi, I'm Jonathan Greenhut, the CEO of Plexiderm. All it takes is 10 minutes to reduce the appearance of under eye bags, wrinkles, and crow's feet. The instant results are from naturally based silicates found in shell clay. Once applied, your skin tightens and firms. Take action with our Plexiderm 10 minute challenge. Try it today for only $14.95 plus get free shipping. Visit plexidermtrial.com or call the number on your screen. Don't make a fuss. Spring into savings. savings at Denver Mattress. You'll shop brands like Sealy and Temper. And Purple too. Four years no interest. Ship free to you. Denver Mattress. This newscast sponsored by Mariano Morales Law. Welcome back in your health news now. A new study suggests having less salt in your diet can have important health benefits that includes living longer. Researchers examined more than a dozen previous studies that involved more than 35,000 patients. They were on average 64 years old and at a higher than normal risk for heart disease. The study found cutting out salt or using a salt substitute lowered the risk of dying early from heart disease. The American Heart Association recommends most adults, especially with high blood pressure, ideally limit their daily sodium intake to 1,500 milligrams a day. Researchers caution people who eat a lot of packaged or restaurant food are likely getting more sodium in their diet than recommended. And the study was published Monday in the journal Annals of Internal Medicine. And coming up on Good Morning Northwest, opening arguments in Chad Daybell's murder trial to begin soon. He's accused of killing his first wife and his second wife's two children. We take a look at the details. Plus, with wildfires only getting bigger and happening more often, the government announces new funding to help combat it, what the money will go towards next. Six o'clock bogey. Did you say burger? Because I can go for a burger. I'm not talking about burger. Roger that. Fire now. Need burger? Get burger. Spicy Western bacon cheeseburger. Only at Carl's Jr. When you need legal help, trust Quantum Legal. 
We're here for you in times of trouble, whether you need assistance with criminal defense, personal injury, or have been injured on the job. Law is a complicated matter. Our team of experts will fight for you and help you find the best solution for your situation. Don't let life's challenges get the best of you. We're here to help. Call us today at 509-783-5551 or visit our website at quantumlegal.com. Watch Sunday and Monday at 8 on Apple Valley News Now. Sponsored locally by Prosser Memorial Health, your five-star rated hospital. This is how we care. Hey, Tri-Cities. It's Eric the Peanut Guy with your Tri-City Dust Devils. Baseball is back. So get ready for affordable family fun at Giza Stadium. The fun begins this Tuesday, April 9th with opening night. The new season kicks off with a magnet schedule giveaway thanks to Tri-Cities Community Health. And of course, a post-game fireworks show thanks to CO Energy. Say goodbye to winter and celebrate the return of fun under the sun. Visit the official ticket site at DustDevilsBaseball.com. Dust Devils Baseball, it will blow you away. Affordable? Yeah, we got that. Stylish? Got that covered too. Quality? You can bet on it. At Furniture Row, we stock furniture that is value priced, built to last, and looks fabulous. And during the spring into savings sale, find huge discounts throughout the store, like the Reno sofa for only four hundred and ninety seven bucks, the Espresso Dining Group at only four ninety eight, the Glenwood Bedroom Group now just fifteen seventy eight, and save a hundred bucks on any Buena Vista mattress, plus four years no interest. Shop the largest selection at the lowest prices, guaranteed. The spring into savings sale on now at Furniture Row. The average cost of hearing aids is nearly $5,000, but now you can buy a full pair of rechargeable, wireless, nearly invisible, easy to use, and comfortable hearing devices for only $99, but only from Audion. It's easy to use. They're small. A pair of $99 Audion Atoms can be sold over the phone without having to see a doctor or audiologist. Call to order. 1-800-617-3809. Life can be hard. <coughs> With Culligan, your water doesn't have to be. Yeah! Oh boy, look at that Carl's Jr. burger. Bacon, jalapenos, beef, cheese, bacon, beef. Five dollars on the app? What? Another burger? Lettuce, cheese, melty, delicious pickle? You gotta be kidding! Barbecue soft strip, crunchy onion rings, five dollars? I'm burger rich! Need burger? Get burger! Yeah! Springtime in the awesome Palouse. Fly the Northwest tonight at 6. Right now on Good Morning Northwest, opening arguments in Chad Daybell's murder trial to begin soon. Who's accused of killing his first wife and his second wife's two children. What we know about the case so far. Plus new funding announced to help combat wildfires as they're only getting bigger and more frequent. Details coming up. And it's a breezy day across the region. Winds are going to be picking up, but it's looking like it's going to be a pretty nice day. Good Morning Northwest starts right now. This is Apple Valley News Now. Good Morning Northwest on your side. Good morning and thank you for joining us for Good Morning Northwest. I'm Jessica Dalal. And I'm Riley Fitzgerald. It is 630 on Tuesday, April 9th, 2024. And Riley, it's been nice weather so far. It's been kind of up and down for the past couple weeks. Definitely. Like we get like a cold front and then we go back to like almost six or almost <laughs> 70s. And as much as I want the 70s here, I feel like it's only going to last a little while and then we're going to go straight to hot temperatures. So I don't know what I want. <laughs> Definitely. We had that day uh, last week or the week before, I don't recall exactly, but it was upper, mid to upper 70s. Oh yeah. And it was so nice. It was almost yeah. 80 degrees in the Tri-Cities. It felt nice not to bring a jacket walking outside. So nice, exactly. Today, and I would say- It takes less time to get ready because you don't got to put yes. like boots and stuff on. <laughs> yeah, today I would say grab the jacket. Let's take a live <laughs> look outside right now in Pasco through the Dust Devil Sky Cam because as nice as our temperatures look, we're quite a bit warmer than we saw this time yesterday. We are going to be experiencing quite a bit of wind today. We're already at around 10 miles per hour for our winds in the Tri-Cities, but it will just pick up as our day continues and throughout tonight as well. So seasonable temps, but again, the wind is going to make it feel a little bit chillier. I was quite chilly on my way out the door uh, overnight. 
AM showers in the foothills of the Blues, but those should for the most part be heading on their way out. So yep, they've pretty much settled down on our radar so far this morning, but we did see some showers a little bit earlier on. Temperatures we're seeing mid 30s in the Yakima Valley, upper 40s in the Walla Walla area and upper 40s, lower 50s in the mid Columbia. So again, temperatures warmer than we saw this time yesterday, but still pretty cold for some of us. Wind speeds right now are picking up 10 miles per hour. Tri Cities, Hanford, Ellensburg. Ellensburg is going to be seeing and the Kittitas County area the uh, the strongest winds across the day today. Lower 60s in the Yakima area. Tri Cities mid to upper 60s for our temperatures. Lower 60s in Walla Walla. I have more to talk about, but I'll tell you in my full forecast. For now, I'll send it back to Jessica. Thank you, Riley. In a follow up now, opening arguments in Chad Daybell's murder trial are expected to begin this week. Daybell is accused of killing his first wife and his second wife's two children. Daybell pleaded not guilty to all of the crimes he's accused of. Opening statements for Daybell are scheduled to begin tomorrow morning. Idaho court officials say they expect the trial will last between eight to ten weeks. And last year, Daybell's second wife, Lori Vallow Daybell, received a life sentence after she was found guilty of murdering her son and daughter. And the federal government just announced a $79 million investment to help pay for wildland fire management. The Department of the Interior says with wildfires becoming bigger and happening more often, they're working to both fight fires and help ecosystems recover after the fact. The funding announced yesterday will go towards wildfire detection because if you can spot a fire early, it's a lot easier to manage, as well as boosting technology used by wildfire incident management teams and rehabilitating burned areas like things, uh, things like replanting. Hundreds of people in a Las Vegas office building evacuated Monday after a fatal shooting on the building's fifth floor. Las Vegas police say a gunman killed two people at a law office before taking his own life. Emily Schmidt has more on the investigation and what people did when they heard there was a shooter nearby. This video from outside a Las Vegas office building Monday looks like a fairly typical work day. Employees crossing a street carrying bags and coffee mugs and wearing badges. But this day, they also carry the weight of a mass shooting. All of a sudden, I heard some screams and yelling coming from like out in the hallway. And then a guy came in and started saying there was a shooter on the fifth floor. Ashley Brinkmeyer was at her desk two floors down. She texted her husband, told him she loved him, and hid with her colleagues. We closed the doors, we barricaded, and then we waited to see um, what we heard. Law enforcement said they got a call about an active shooter at a law firm around 10 a.m. local time. There were seven people here taking part in a de deposition inside the Prince Law Group. Shortly into the deposition, approximately three to four minutes, uh, the, one of the part of the suspects stood up and began opening fire on the two victims across uh, the table from him. Police say a gunman killed a man and a woman before turning the gun on himself and taking his own life. Officials say the threat to the community is over, and as the investigation continues, so does helping the people impacted by the shooting. Hundreds of people like Ashley Brinkmeyer realizing life can change in an instant in the middle of an ordinary work day. It's pretty crazy to think that, you know, it can really happen anywhere to anyone. I'm Emily Schmidt reporting. And there has been no motive determined behind the shooting so far. And up next on Good Morning Northwest, the phenomenon that took the world by storm yesterday. Yes, we're talking about the solar eclipse. We take a look at what scientists at NASA did to better understand the sun and Earth. And Riley joins us now with a quick look at your morning forecast. Hey, Riley. Hi, Jessica. Winds are picking up today. Strong gusts will breeze through the region into this evening. Temperatures are looking pretty good, though. I'll have more details coming up. Seattle battles Dallas. NHL action Saturday at noon on Apple Valley News Now. Hit by a big truck in bad weather? There's a law that says truck drivers have a legal duty to use extreme caution when driving in hazardous conditions. Hit by a big truck? I'm attorney Mariana Morales. The big truck, heavy hit. Call 853-2222.
Your best days of the year start here at Kubota Orange Days. It's the year's biggest selection of Kubota tractors, zero-turn mowers, and utility vehicles, including the number one selling compact tractor in the USA. Plus, the year's best deals, like 0% APR for 84 months or up to $3,300 off select compact tractors. Orange goes all day. Sales ending soon. Visit your local dealer today. Find a Kubota dealer near you at GoKubota.com. Take advantage of the tax credits you can, including the annual Washington State Working Families Tax Credit. You can get money back on state taxes already paid. Visit workingfamiliescredit.wa.gov. Oh my gosh, wow. Who am I? Wow, is that really me? <laughs> Hi, I'm Jonathan Greenhut, the CEO of Plexiderm. All it takes is 10 minutes to reduce the appearance of under eye bags, wrinkles, and crow's feet. The instant results are from naturally based silicates found in shell clay. Once applied, your skin tightens and firms. Take action with our Plexiderm 10 minute challenge. Try it today for only $14.95 plus get free shipping. Visit PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. You're going to Hollywood. <laughs> Watch Sunday and Monday at 8 on Apple Valley News Now. Sponsored locally by Prosser Memorial Health, your five-star rated hospital. This is how we care. Hit by a big truck in bad weather? There's a law that says truck drivers have a legal duty to use extreme caution when driving in hazardous conditions. Hit by a big truck? I'm attorney Mariana Morales. The big truck, heavy hit. Call 853-2222. The news you care about most is news that happens close to home. At Apple Valley News Now, our coverage focuses on Yakima, Tri-Cities, Walla Walla, and all areas from the Blues to the Cascades. Families, schools, safety, plus so much more. We got it covered. Plus, we'll tell you what's on the way and how it will affect you and your family. On air, online, and mobile. We're Apple Valley News Now, and we're on your side. We're on your side. We're Apple Valley News Now, always on your side. As a spectator for the solar eclipse, it's a rare phenomena to encounter. For NASA, it's a chance to better understand questions about the sun. Some of these can only be answered during a rare astronomical event. That's why NASA launched rockets into the solar eclipse path yesterday, which ran through Mexico, U.S. and Canada. Sounding rockets and WB-57 high-altitude planes were sent into the path to conduct specific research on the sun and Earth. It's research that's only possible during this time. NASA has been doing this during past eclipses, and from research conducted for the past decade, scientists have discovered new information about the sun's corona. Up next on Good Morning Northwest, how one Washington man handled the situation when he realized somebody was trying to steal his car. The video you don't want to miss. And Riley Fitzgerald will have your first alert for forecast. That is right when we come back. There was a time when you could get a complete meal for just $5, but you got to go way back. Well, just a Tuesday. Yes, Tuesdays at A&W, single Papa Burger combos complete with fries and a root beer cost just 5 bucks. This all-time great deal is available Tuesdays only at A&W. Have you heard about Refractive Lens Exchange? K2 Vision RLE means no glasses, no contacts, and no readers permanently. And you'll never develop a cataract. No glasses or readers. K2 Vision RLE. For generations, hardworking people have relied on Ford F-Series trucks to help grow businesses, communities, families, a legacy of capability and technology that's made Ford F-Series America's best-selling trucks 47 years straight. This is the next generation of Built for Tough. Lock in a six-year rate. Get 1.9% APR for 72 months on a 2023 F-150 only at your local Ford dealer. Want to drive? Really? Most of us agree our roads are safer when we put away our phones. But we still have some people to reach. So spread the message. Okay. And set the example. Because that's how we make the road a safer place for you and your loved ones. Together, we get there. Hi, I'm Don Stone, and this is my husband, Randy. And we built this kitchen. No, Tim did. Hi. You see, our kitchen used to look like this. 
It just wasn't us. So I went to par, and that's where I met Gail, who helped me choose my cabinets, countertops, and hardware at the Par Design Center, and we love the results. So you could say, I designed this kitchen. Yep. Par, family owned since 1930. Go where the builders go. What are you gonna build? Affordable? Yeah, we got that. Stylish? Got that covered too. Quality? You can bet on it. At Furniture Row, we stock furniture that is value priced, built to last, and looks fabulous. And during the spring into savings sale, find huge discounts throughout the store, like the Reno sofa for only four hundred and ninety-seven bucks, the Espresso Dining Group at only four ninety-eight, the Glenwood Bedroom Group now just fifteen seventy-eight, and save a hundred bucks on any Buena Vista mattress, plus four years no interest. Shop the largest selection at the lowest prices, guaranteed. The spring into savings sale on now at Furniture Row. Stop thinking. Let things happen and be the ball. Better yet, see the ball with K2 Vision RLE. K2 Vision RLE. No readers, glasses, contacts, or cataracts. KFC's fan favorite country fried steak is just $5.99 every Wednesday. It's a complete meal with your favorite sides. Best of all, it's just $5.99. Yay! Country fried steak, $5.99, Wednesdays only at KFC. Springtime in the awesome Palouse. Fly the Northwest tonight at 6. From Apple Valley News Now, first alert weather with Riley Fitzgerald. Happy Tuesday, everyone. Hope you're having an amazing day today. Live look outside right now in Pasco through our Dust Devil Sky Cam. 50 degrees. It's pretty nice and warm out this morning, but it is pretty windy, which might bring those temperatures down just a little bit. Wind gusts today through tonight. Seasonable temps, but again, a little cooler because of that wind. And morning showers were affecting us in the foothills of the Blues. They might be out of the way by now. We do have a wind advisory in the Kittitas County areas from 8, 10 o'clock to 8 o'clock today, affecting this area 20 to 30 miles per hour winds, gusts up to 45 miles per hour. So that's something to be aware of if you're going to be heading through there or if you're in there right now. Maybe grip the steering wheel a little bit tighter because winds are going to be affecting us between 10 and 8 o'clock. Futurecast for our winds shows winds picking up across the entire region as we make our way through the day. Settling down later this evening, but again, winds are going to be affecting us the entire region between 20 and 30 mile per hour winds, uh, wind gusts for most of the day today. We did see these showers affecting the Walla Walla area and the foothills of the Blues, but they have kind of simmered down for the last little bit. And on our future cast, we're going to be seeing showers start to clear up a little bit later on. And as we make our way through Tuesday and Wednesday, definitely drying up and clearing up quite a bit as we make our way through Tuesday into Wednesday. Clouds come out a little bit Wednesday night and then Thursday once again. We have some more clouds on the way, but dry and clear for the next little bit once these scattered showers head on out. Mid-30s in the Yakima Valley this morning, upper 40s in the Wallow in the Blue Mountain region, and then upper 40s, lower 50s in the mid-Columbia right now. Highs for today, we're going to be seeing mid-60s in the Yakima Valley in the mid-Columbia, mid to upper 60s, and in the Blue Mountain region, mid to lower 60s on the forecast for today. Temperatures for this evening, we're going to be seeing mid 30s all across the board and wind will be continuing. Tonight we're going to be seeing wind settle down mid 60s across the, uh, the board for our temperatures for tomorrow. On our seven day forecast, looking pretty nice over the next couple of days once the wind settles down. Nice temperatures, 70s for Friday and Saturday for Yakima. Overnight lows pick up as well. In the Tri-Cities, as soon as these clouds make their way out, our temperatures will be on the way up Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We're going to be in the 70s, Saturday, 77. Chance for a slight shower on Friday, but we'll be keeping an eye on that. It may change. In Walla Walla, over the next couple of days, we will be warming up. 20% chance of showers on Friday and also a chance of some thunderstorms for Friday as we make our way into the 70s. Today we have some wind that will be affecting us, so be aware of that as we make our way outside of the door this morning. But we are going to be seeing some nice conditions over the next couple of days. Have a great Tuesday. I'll send it back to Jessica. Thank you, Riley. And a man living in South Hill, just southeast of Tacoma, chases down a would-be car thief yesterday. And after viewing his camera footage, can hardly believe what he did.
Eric Smith still can't believe that's him chasing down a would-be car thief when he reviews his home surveillance cameras. A lot of people are impressed by it for me. I'm just like, oh, you know, I was lucky. Smith moved into a South Hill home less than a year ago to cut down on his commute to JBLM. He says it's a quiet neighborhood, but on the night of April 3rd, he got a notification that his car door was open and sprung into action. I chased them all the way out to the middle of the street here where they were parked, and that's kind of like their... Uh, what they do. They park in the middle of the street. That way they're far away from cameras. Smith says he wanted to hold the thief down to keep him from getting away. But then things escalated fast. As I was on the hood, I was like, okay, where am I headed? So I looked back over my shoulder and I was like, oh no, not my truck. Um, and, and again, this all happened within a split second. Vehicle theft continues to be a problem across Pierce County. Deputies say the number of these dangerous incidents increased by 27% in 2023, and they expect that number will continue to rise this year. I had a, a citizen last week that I spoke with, and their vehicle had been stolen three times, and it's frustrating. I think our citizens are getting very frustrated with this. Meanwhile, Smith says he's glad to have walked away from the encounter unscathed. Can you ever really prepare for something like this? No, I mean you can have you can run it through your head several times, and that's probably be the best preparation you can have for for yourself, because um, you never know when it's going to strike or when it's going to happen. Well, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with the morning sprint and a final check on your forecast. But first, here's a look at what's ahead on Good Morning America. In this morning's GMA first look, battle of the spring sales. Major retailers pulling out all the stocks. I can't believe I get to work at Target. Target showcasing familiar faces to ramp up excitement for their spring savings. During springtime, particularly as millions of Americans have either already received or about to receive their tax refund, there's more likely to be good deals on things like appliances, mattresses, electronics that you would buy specifically for yourself. With some experts saying this competition can put you, the consumer, on top. These big box retailers are also competing with one another. So don't get sucked into that marketing and advertising machine of one of these particular sales holidays. Be sure to look around online to make sure you're getting the best deal. And coming up at 7 a.m., the one technique that's crucial for figuring out if you found a real deal on spring savings. With your GMA First Look, I'm Becky Worley, ABC News, Oakland, California. If you're taking an antidepressant, but you're still masking your depression, you could be experiencing a partial response to your antidepressant. Partial response happens when your antidepressant alone isn't enough. Let's try adding Rexulti. When added to an antidepressant, Rexulti significantly reduced depression symptoms more than an antidepressant alone. So you can build on your progress. Rexulti can cause serious side effects. Elderly dementia patients have an increased risk of death or stroke. Antidepressants may increase suicidal thoughts and actions and worsen depression in children and young adults. Report new or sudden changes in mood, behavior, thoughts, or feelings. Or if you develop suicidal thoughts or actions, report fever, stiff muscles, and confusion, which can be life-threatening, or uncontrolled muscle movements, which may be permanent. High blood sugar, which can lead to coma or death. Weight gain, increased cholesterol, low white blood cells, unusual urges, dizziness on standing, falls, seizures, trouble swallowing, or sleepiness may occur. Ask your doctor about Rex Salty. Now, the morning sprint. Time right now is 652. We'll get to your first alert forecast in just a moment. We begin with a look at this morning's top stories. Starting off, police rescue a DUI driver that drove into a canal yesterday around 6 p.m. According to the Richland Police Department, officers responded to a car crash near Steptoe and Tap Teal where a pickup truck had gone into the irrigation canal. Officers found the truck was halfway underwater with the driver unable to get out. Richland Fire and Emergency Services were able to get the driver out, and according to RPD, witnesses say the driver was driving aggressively before the crash, also that the driver had thrown a bottle of liquor into the water immediately after crashing. Police say he showed signs of being impaired, and he was arrested for driving under the influence. A local towing company was able to remove the car from the canal. 
now to a fraud investigation that involves law enforcement in two counties. Investigators say people were illegally changing the miles recorded on the odometers of cars they plan to sell. This started in Adams County last fall. The sheriff's office there says a couple had been buying cars and then selling them on Facebook Marketplace in Othello with fewer miles. As of last week, the Franklin County Sheriff's Office became involved when paperwork led investigators to Pasco. Officials say this case is an example of why it's important to check a car's history before you buy it. Former Wapato Mayor John Orozco has filed a second lawsuit against the Yakima County Sheriff's Office after his first one failed in federal court. Orozco was arrested in 2019 over claims that he stole money from the city. A judge dismissed the case arguing the evidence from the state auditor's office wasn't enough for probable cause. Orozco filed a federal lawsuit in 2022 claiming his arrest violated the Civil Rights Act. The judge dismissed the federal claims last month, but on Friday he refiled his lawsuit in Yakima County Superior Court. The Bend County Sheriff's Office is investigating a deadly boating accident which took the life of one man in the Finley area. On Saturday, deputies responded to the Columbia River near River Marker 321 after a report came in of a boat taking on water with two people on board. A man named Michael Miller reported to dispatch that his boat was sinking and his cousin William Billy Orndorff went overboard. Miller reportedly was able to grab a life jacket, but his cousin did not have enough time to get a life jacket on. Pasco Fire and Rescue was first on scene and located both subjects in the water Orndorff was unresponsive. CPR was immediately initiated, but the man later died at a local hospital. And police say strong winds and waves contributed to the accident. Staying with the theme of boating safety, an intense training program for rescue crews from all over the state of Washington started yesterday in Kennewick. For the next three weeks, Washington State Parks and Recreation, along with law enforcement instructors, are teaching water and boating safety to other agencies. This is taking part at Clover Island Inn. And coming up tomorrow at 5 and 6 on Apple Valley News Now, we'll go on a ride along with crews to see what's happening new this year. So watch tomorrow as we are on your side with more helpful tips. And in continuing coverage, two people are dead after a crash in western Washington that involved a state patrol trooper. The trooper is not seriously injured. The Mason County Sheriff's Office says the trooper was on their way to an emergency call, driving with lights and sirens on Highway 101, which is a four-lane road in that section. The Sheriff's Office says the crash was at an intersection. That crash killed a 72-year-old man and a 49-year-old woman in the other car. And this is still under investigation. Opening arguments in Chad Daybell's murder trial are expected to begin this week. Daybell is accused of killing his first wife and his second wife's two children. Daybell pleaded not guilty to all of the crimes he's accused of. Idaho court officials say they expect the trial will last between 8 to 10 weeks. Last year, Daybell's second wife, Lori Vallow Daybell, received a life sentence after she was found guilty of murdering her son and daughter. Happy Tuesday, everyone. Hope you're having an amazing day today. Live look outside right now in Pasco through the Dust Devil Sky Cam. 50 degrees in the Tri Cities, and it is pretty warm considering how early in the morning it is. We're going to be seeing wind gusts today through this evening. Seasonable temps, but because of those winds, it is going to be a little bit chillier. Morning showers in the foothills of the blues. They're starting to settle down right now on our radar, so won't be affecting us too much this morning. Potential for a little, little bit wet roads out there, but probably not too much. Temperatures right now, mid 30s in the Yakima Valley. In the Blue Mountain region, we're going to be seeing upper 40s, and in the mid Columbia, upper 40s and lower 50s right now this morning. So again, a little bit warmer than we saw this time yesterday. Wind speeds right now, they are going to be picking up at around 10 miles per hour in the Tri-Cities, Hanford, Ellensburg. We do have a wind advisory in the Kittitas County area from 10 o'clock today until 8 o'clock tonight, up to 45 mile per hour wind gusts. So that is something to be aware of. Otherwise, we are going to be seeing around 20 to 30 mile per hour wind gusts throughout our Tuesday. Let's take a look at our highs for today, mid 60s in the Yakima Valley. In the mid-Columbia, mid to upper 60s and in the Blue Mountain region, mid to lower 60s. Have a fantastic Tuesday. Again, we have wind gusts affecting us today. Otherwise, we have a pretty nice and seasonable day today. Have a great Tuesday. I'll send it back to Jessica.
Thank you, Riley, and thanks for waking up with us and watching Good Morning Northwest. Your local news is back tonight at 5, and you can always find updates on our website. Have a terrific Tuesday.